Loretta Young. Hello. Tonight we're going to come in contact with a hot rod set. And very pleasantly, I think, too. We're going to meet a 16-year-old member of the hot rod set through his mother, Virginia Dickerson, who is at the moment very busy preparing supper for him. probably just sympathizes with me about my supper. Gee, I can't understand it. She was going great guns. You heard her. <laughs> yeah, I sure did. Well, don't worry. She'll go again when she feels like it. Gee, you've been swell about her, Mom. Huh? I know there's a million things you thought I needed more. <laughs> don't be silly. She's going to be wonderful for errands. And remember, big boy, you're driving me to work in her, huh? <laughs> that a girl. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll try her again after supper. Come on, let's see. <laughs> All right. Seems to me I've been crazy about cars ever since I can remember. Yeah, that's putting it mildly. You know, I gave you a dump truck on your first birthday. It's been more of the same ever since, huh? Mm, good mind, honey. I'll get it. Hello? Hi, Ginger. Leon? He's the only person who ever called me Ginger. Ginger? Yes? This is Ginger. This is Leon. I'm over in Denver. How's the boy? Oh, he, he's fine. Fine, thank you. How old is he now? Uh, Sixteen. You ought to be able to figure that out. I'd like to come over and see him this evening. Oh. 7.30 okay? Yes, yes, that'll be all right. I'm bringing Dora with me. Uh, fine. See you then. Bye. Bye. Leon's coming here with his wife at 7.30. That's funny. His voice sounds just the same. Deep, good-natured, just as if I'd heard it yesterday. Yet it's been 15 years. Am I crazy? Why in the world did I tell him he could come? Pudding. Sure. Come on, Virginia. What's on your mind? Who called? Your father. My father? Yeah. Yeah, he's in the city. He's coming over to see you tonight. For guy's sakes, what got into him all of a sudden? You know, he's married again, Scott, and he's bringing his wife with him, so you'll you'll have to shower and change. Oh, heck, I was going to work on the filly oh, over. No, honey, not tonight. And be sure you clean your fingernails, too, will you? Did you know about this? No, no, not all, not till just now. Well, gosh, what do we talk about? What, what do I say? Well, you, you can talk about your school and your paper route. And, well, honey, he'll probably ask you so many questions. It won't be difficult. Sure is funny, gosh. All of a sudden, out of a clear blue sky. <laughs> yeah. Now, why did I tell Leon he could come? Why? Because Scott has a right to see his father, that's why. What does he know about his father? Only what I've told him. What have I told him? It's funny. I can't remember very well. Mom, where's the nail file? It's in the top drawer there, honey. Boy, the filly should put her mark on me. Yeah. Doesn't it seem kind of funny, Mom, his bringing his wife? 
Oh, I don't know. She probably wants to see you, too. But doesn't it, well, don't you kind of hate to meet her? Oh, no, dear. It's been such a long time. Well, what does he do? What kind of business? Well, the last I heard, he was traveling for a wholesale furniture company. He's a very good salesman, you know. You never talk much about him, Mom. What happened? Did you fight or something? Oh, no. We didn't fight. Well, then what? Well, when you were on the way, Scott, he... Well, he was traveling a lot, and we didn't have a house, so... Well, I came back here to Aunt Marty's, where I grew up, and then... Well, after you were born, I just stayed on, that's all. Well, didn't my father ever come here? Yeah, once, when you were six months old. Is that all? Mm-hmm. Well, gosh, didn't he write or send money or anything? Oh, not very often. I didn't realize I'd feel like this. It's painful remembering. But Scott mustn't see it. That wouldn't be good. Hey, Mom, why didn't he? Send money, I mean. Oh, well, he was just getting started then, dear, and he probably didn't have very much. And then later he figured that I had enough here with Aunt Marty. But you didn't, did you? <laughs> oh, wasn't that bad? It was awful. There, there, dear. Now, don't cry. It's not good for you. But I've written him every day, Aunt Marty. And he still doesn't answer. We'll make out somehow. <laughs> now, you know I'm happy to have you here. You're the only family I've got. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Aunt Marty, what are we going to do about money? I'm due at the hospital tomorrow. Dr. Kennan will give us time to pay. And after the baby comes, we'll get our jobs. And we'll manage somehow, dear. Yes, there's the mailman. Maybe he's brought you a letter. Oh, I hope so. Did he have... Did he have more either for me? Oh, just... What did I tell you? Uh, did I leave on ten right <laughs> uh. What is it, dear? What's the matter? Dear Ginger, enclosed is $15. It's the best I can do right now. Hope everything goes well. Be seeing you soon, Leon. Don't you worry one minute, dear. Now we'll make out. <laughs> but what are we going to do, Aunt Marty? What are we going to do? I wish you were here. I wish you were here. Yes, how many times I wished you were here. Scott was six months old when he first saw him. Scott Dickerson, what are you doing kicking off your blankets like that? And when your father's finally coming to see you, too. Oh, Aunt Marty, he'll be here any minute now. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, you can't help but love that little angel. What's the matter to you? Nobody could. <laughs> Where did you phone from? Uh, just a couple of blocks away. And Marty, there he is now. Listen, will you do me a favor? Will you let me see him first alone, huh? Well, of course, dear. I'll disappear. Oh, you're an angel. <laughs> now, you'll be a good boy because your daddy's coming in. You'll be a good boy now. Candy, too. Gardenia. <laughs> oh, Leon. Yeah. Oh, good to see you. Oh, hey, where's my boy? Oh, of course. Come here. Here he Look is. Look at that guy. Oh, hello, darling. <laughs> That's your daddy. Hello, little fella. Hello. Can I pick him up? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. That's a boy. <laughs> Well, doggone if he doesn't look just like his old man. <laughs> he does look like you, Leon. Well, you're a swell little fella. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Oh, here, darling, let me have him. I want you to get a good look at him. Now, look at your daddy. Well, I'm not going to break you. Hey, Leon. Oh, I wanted you here for so long. Yeah, well, you can't always do what you want. No, I know. But... Oh, hey, you know, I got a new territory now. Had to you... buy myself a new car. 
And we're going to take a ride in it because I'm going to take you out to dine and dance. How about that? Oh, I love it. I just love it. Well, come on, come on. Get your coat. We'll go. Yeah, all right. Come on, I haven't been. Oh, hold your son. Come baby. on, son. I'll be right back. Okay, sweet. <laughs> yeah. There, is that better, isn't it? Hey, you see, I'm not so bad, am I? <laughs> oh, come on, boy. Come on, little fella. Don't you know your daddy? <laughs> well, good night, baby. Thanks for a swell evening. Gosh, you're still the best dancing partner a guy ever had. Leon, aren't you coming in? Oh, no, thanks just the same. I gotta get back. I gotta get my samples packed. I leave at five in the morning. Oh, Leon, you can't. Well, look, I, I can't go on living off Aunt Marty. Oh, Leon, she's only got this house and a small annuity, and, well, she can't continue to take care of the baby and me, too, you know? Gosh, dear, I'm sorry, but I just can't do anything right now. With this new territory and the new car, it's going to be all I can do just to skin through myself. Oh, yes, but I'll I... send you some money. Really, I will. The first chance I get. Really, I will. Now, you take good care of that boy, I won't you? Goodbye, sweetheart. You're wonderful. <laughs> oh, that's as clean as they're ever going to get. See, it's 7.30. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that car. I've never seen one like that around here before. Hey, it must be him. He's turning in. Yes. Yes, that's your father's car. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> Say, not bad, not bad at all. Oh, thank you. See what I mean, Dora? Some women don't have to worry about staying slim. Oh, Scott, <laughs> they're here. How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> oh, Leon, this is Scott. Son, this is your father. How do you do, sir? May I take your hat? Ginger, look at the size of that guy. Yes. Here, I expected you to be half size to a toad. <laughs> Dora, this is my son. Hello, Scott. How do you do? Well, come on, let's go over and talk about yourself. About your school and your athletics. Do you play football? Well, I play, but I yeah. haven't made my letter yet. Oh, you've got plenty of time for that. Did you ever see a big game? Well, no, but I'd sure like to. You know, I arranged my trip so that we get to see most of the big ones. In fact, one year we drove clear out to the Rose Bowl game. Uh, what year was that, Dory? Uh, 47? Yeah, I think so. Gosh, that must have been super. I'd sure like to see a Rose Bowl game. Brother, was it hot. But my mink coat was new that year, so of course I had to wear it. <laughs> I thought I'd die. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, boy. We'll go sometime, just you and me. We'll leave the women at home with their fur coats. <laughs> That'd be super. You've aged, Leon. But you still have your ability to charm. I'm glad you came now. It's nice for Scott. And it's good for me, too to see you as you really are, because it cures me of any bitterness. And now I've got my business set up for a buying trip to New York. Like I told you, a good salesman can always arrange to have his job taken where he wants to go. And of course, with all this traveling, I had to buy myself a new bus. Say, would you like to see it? I sure would. I saw you drive her up. Well, come on, let's go. Ship. <laughs> I'll show you my filly, too, but of course she isn't quite in the same class with yours. You mean you got a horse? No, it's a hot car. <laughs> all the same, aren't they? Toys, any age. <laughs> they certainly are. I have some coffee on the stove. Shall I get it? Oh, thank you. That'd be very nice. We can't stay long. We've got some friends waiting at the motel. Oh, all right. I'll hurry then. Okay. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I had in mind. Well, how about it? That is, if your mother will let you, of course. Let him what? Come back to Chicago with us. You mean really? Sure. You can spend the summer there. Then we'll take in the World Series. You could even go to school back there in the fall. Gee. Then we'll take a trip into the ski country. I'm not much on that stuff myself, but, well, I know you kids go for it, and I know how important things like that can be to kids. Right, Ginger? Yes, yes. And my car, you can drive it all you want. Why, I might even get you one of your own. Brand new. You would? Sure. You like foreign cars? Yeah. Oh, they're pretty snazzy, aren't they? 
Easy on gas, fast. Oh, I can't get in one myself, but they're fun, aren't they? <laughs> Scott, Scott, don't listen. Don't be taken in. It gets hot in the summer, but we can always go to the lake. Oh, I hope you let him come. It'll be such fun for Leon. He's such a gadder, and boy, do I get tired. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you will, won't you? Well, I... Sure she will. Well, it looks like it's all set, boy. Come on, Dora, we gotta go. Now, look, I'll pick you up at 10 o'clock in the morning. And don't worry about any clothes. We'll get you everything you need in Chicago. Well, thanks a lot, Ginger. Gosh, yeah. it's sure been nice seeing you. Thank you, Leon. Thank you. Awful nice meeting you. Thank you. And don't worry, we'll show Scott a good time. You bet we will. <laughs> well, come on, Dora. So long, Scott. Bye. Bye, Bye son. Won't that be fun, Ginger? Yeah. Boy, isn't it a monster, though? A beautiful, big, shiny monster. Gosh, I wonder what kind he's going to get me. Maybe one of those real neat light yellow ones. I'm going to stop this right now. I'm going to tell him that he can't go. Chicago and a new car. Gee, I can hardly believe it. No, I can't say it yet. Not when it's all so new. Not when he feels like this. Scott, what are you going to do about your paper route? Oh, I'll give it to Don. He's been wanting one. I won't be earning any more money for you, Mom, but... But you can have whatever I get for the filly, and gosh, you won't have to feed me or anything. That's right. Where are you going? To bed. Night, Scott. Night, Mom. Gee, a new car and everything. <sighs> Anger with Scott, too, for being taken in. Oh, but that isn't fair, either. I was taken in by Leon when I was much older than Scott. Taken in by promises. The dazzle, the lavish hand. How can I say to Scott, that's what his father really is. Interested and generous only when it pleases him to be. Scott's lamp. Maybe if I remind him of the Christmas he made it for me the year right after Aunt Marty died. Maybe then he'd understand his father better now. Well, we couldn't help remembering that Christmas. It was the worst one we ever had. I'd been ill with the flu. possibly do this every night. It's wonderful. I'm proud of you and all that, but well, you know, you just... tomorrow's Christmas, and after that will be all right, won't it? What do you mean? What do I mean? Oh, gosh. It isn't very nice to hint right out about your Christmas present, is it? Scott, come here. You're not still expecting a bike, are you? Gee whiz, Mom. Sure. We talked about it all year. Oh, but, honey, I... I thought you understood with... Why, being sick and all has taken every cent we had. Honey, we scarcely have enough to live on till I get back to work. They gave me the rock because I promised I'd have a bike. Oh, Mom! I just gotta have that bike! I'm sorry, Scott. We just can't afford it. Some Christmas. Give me a Christmas kiss, huh? I got something better than that for you. Oh? Look! Oh. It's a lamp for your table so you can read and sew. God, it's beautiful. 
This is what you're making in manual training, huh? Oh. I could have made a milking stool, but I didn't think that would be very useful. Oh, no, this is much more useful. Now I won't have to borrow this one from the living room anywhere, will I? I'm awful sorry I cried last night, Mom. I should have realized you couldn't go around buying bikes. Scott, you'll never know how much I wanted to. And I will, just as soon as I possibly can. Sure. I'll tell him with the paper. And by the time we do get it, maybe my leg muscles will be so strong I'll be able to make the football team. <laughs> maybe so, honey. Maybe so, huh? Do you have your coffee? <laughs> That's when he needed you, Leon. But not now. Not now. I wish I could figure out what was the matter. Hi, you finally wake up? Oh, Scott, why didn't you call me? Oh, for heaven's sake, look at the time. Come on, you've got to get ready. I'm not going. What do you mean you're not going? Don't want to. Scott, last night you seemed so... Oh, sure, that was last night. I was all steamed up, but... Last night. What happened? Changed my mind. Scott, are you sorry I told your father he could come here? Oh, heck no. Every fellow wants to know what his father's like, how he looks and everything. Well, so now I know. You saw the way I felt last night. I did let it show how bitter I was. Scott, I want you to know something. You don't have to stay here because of me, you know. Because I'll be happy just knowing you're in a good school and having a real car and all the things you've always wanted. What are you trying to do, get rid of me? <laughs> no, of course not. But I won't have you stay in here because of some silly idea of loyalty to me. Loyalty to you? What about the filly? Scott, if I've done anything to prejudice you, I didn't intend it. Your father means well, and... Well, I was very young, you know. Well, you haven't prejudiced me. Gosh, I can't remember you saying the least little thing against him. And what is it, huh? Well, it's just that I got to thinking in the night. and Well, you know, he was telling us about the time they went to the Rose Bowl in 47, and she had a new fur coat and everything. Yeah. Well, it's just that that was the same Christmas that you were so sick and couldn't buy me the bike, remember? Yeah. What are you going to tell him, Scott? Oh, I'll just tell him. Thanks all the same, but I can't do it. You better get back. He might jerk, Virginia. A reasonable amount of understanding. Wasn't it Matthew who said, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also? Well, good night. See you next week.